It's Alex here. Welcome back to my video blog. And today we're going to talk about what happens when a home is rented back. So renting, that's something that sellers don't really want to do. But the thing is that when you're renting back, typically you're going to be renting back from the buyer if you're a seller. This allows you as a seller to have more time to figure out where your next location is going to be and to transition smoothly to that. And when you're renting back, it typically takes the way of one of three different you know, pricing fashions. Sometimes the buyers will rent it back to you for 30 or 60 days um, in the way of a cost of $1. So they're basically giving it to you for free. They may figure it out based on what the market rate for rents are in your area. Or number three, they may base it on what the buyer is paying for. So if the buyer is paying less, um, like in the meaning, like they're doing a 5 or 10% down payment and they're buying it in today's market, they may be paying actually a lot more than you're expecting to pay because you purchased a home in the past. So in effect, when there's a rent back in place, the buyer now becomes a landlord and the seller becomes the tenant. From a buyer's perspective, one of the things is that when you're renting your house back to a seller, the benefit to the seller is it gives them those, that time and it makes your offer actually more appealing if they need that, if they haven't determined exactly where they're gonna go. So, Typically with buyers, it's a little bit a bummer in a way because it is something where they don't get as much satisfaction because they bought a house, but they don't get to live in it for another 30 or 60 days. And typically the maximum amount of time is going to be 60 days if there is a loan involved, meaning that the buyer is obtaining financing to go ahead and buy the house. So those are things to kind of consider. But in a rent back scenario, it's negotiated at the point of contract. So it doesn't happen after the fact. But those are the things to consider when you're actually renting back. But we see it currently on many of our transactions. So for a lot of our listing, near the last three listings we had, each of them did have a rent back in place for the sellers to rent back from the buyers. One as short as two weeks, one as long as nine months. So if you have any questions on that, because I know there's you know, some questions around that, definitely let me know. But I'm here to help any way I can. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.